Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome to the bonus episode of SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at a couple of bonus things in the game and outside of it that we would have missed in our main series. And the first of those things is taking a look at the super special BFF edition of the game. This thing is a huge collector's edition with tons of goodies inside. And as you can see on the box here, it shows the variety of contents within it. And I can't understate how huge this thing is. They did a special edition with the previous SpongeBob game as well, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, but this one is just as crazy. And as you can see on the box, not only is it super well designed and really pretty, but shows us what we can expect inside of the BFF edition itself. And the back shows some extra details about the game. As we open up the box, the first thing we have is a neat little certificate of authenticity. We're number 4,699 out of 11,000. We also have a paper that has a code for our costume pack DLC. I'll be showing off the DLC later in this video. Then of course, we have the game. This is the PS4 edition, but they also released a physical version for the Switch and Xbox One. But for the first exclusive item in this BFF edition is a set of four SpongeBob bouncy balls. These give the effect of SpongeBob being stuck in a bubble, which is pretty cool. SpongeBob has a different outfit in each one. Karate gear, pirate, medieval knight, and cowboy. There is also a really neat BFF necklace. Inside is a picture of SpongeBob and Patrick on the top, as well as another doodle of them, which is really adorable. This next thing might be the strangest items in the set. I think they're supposed to be eating trays? There's four in total, but they all look really neat. We have one of the Flying Dutchmen, SpongeBob riding a seahorse, prehistoric SpongeGar, and Snail SpongeBob. I personally wouldn't use these for eating off of or anything, but they're pretty cool little art pieces for sure. Next up is a real life inflatable Patrick. Now this thing is way bigger than I thought it was going to be, and I just couldn't manage to inflate it. But here's a picture of what it would look like if it was inflated, I hope that's okay. And last but not least, we have the Cosmic Victory statue. This statue has a really cool box that showcases the figure quite nicely. Taking this figure out of the box, it's really, really cool. SpongeBob is singing Sweet Victory into the microphone with Patrick by his side. There's so many awesome details to this figure, like the pile of slime creatures SpongeBob is standing on, and not to mention the Cosmic Rift behind him. It's pretty tall too, standing at nine inches. In my opinion, this is the best thing in the collection. Honestly, all in all, a really nice figure. I would have been happy just to have this on its own, but having this entire box of nice stuff is really cool. So there was our look at the SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake BFF Edition. Which item in the box was your favorite? So with that done, let's go check out the DLC costumes. So now we're gonna be taking a look at the DLC costumes that were both included in the BFF edition, but can also be purchased separately. These are some pretty cool costumes. So let's take a quick look at them right up here. They're at the tippity top of the costume shop. We have special costumes DLC, starting with purple sponge. If you can't be silly, be jelly. Looking good. It is just a jelly version of SpongeBob. We then have the Band Geeks uniform and it's sweet, sweet victory, yeah. Of course, this is sort of like uh, SpongeBob's main getup in that one episode where he sings with all of his friends, but also in all the trailers for the Cosmic Shake. We have Opposite Day, Happy Opposite Day, where he dresses as Squidward. I love that one, that one's great. We have Dried Sponge, when you pretend to breathe air to impress your friends. This is when he tried to go in Sandy's tree dome without a uh, water helmet, I guess it could be called. It gets all dried out, sort of looks creepy, doesn't it? Ugh. I don't know if I like that one. Then we have Robob Steel Pants. Steel for pants and bolts for brains. This one's so cool because this is the final boss of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So to see it here as like a playable costume is super awesome. We have Mermaid Man Bob saving the seas from evil. Of course, SpongeBob dressed as Mermaid Man. Looking pretty cool. And then our last one is Primitive Bob. Banuka Banuka. <laughs> Pretty cool. So that's what's interesting about that is it's different from SpongeGar, but not by too much. This one's definitely a lot more reminiscent of the actual episode than this one is. This one always had a little bit more of its own look, but this is definitely directly from the original episode with the loincloth and everything. It's pretty crazy. So which one of these DLCs is your favorite? These DLC costumes, I gotta say they're all great, but I think my favorite has to be the purple sponge. Look at this thing, it's amazing. So with this done, all there is to do is to complete some challenges and get some awards. 
So one of the things that we need to do to complete the game 100% and get the Platinum Trophy is awards. On the top there, you can see we have 27 out of 44 of them already. Quite a few of them we just completed on our main playthrough, but there's some extra ones I'll be focusing on, like Wrath Tub, defeat 25 enemies with Big Jelly's attack, all that kind of stuff. Some of these might be easier than others for sure, but just one by one, we'll be chipping away at them until we have them all done. And our first challenge is actually pretty simple. Jaws with flaws, defeat 10 enemies with the burrower. So if we go way over here, you can see there's actually a burrower already. And what we wanna do with this guy is just sort of have him burrow around. And when he pops out of the dirt, if we can get him to get a hit just the right spot, as you can see, he'll defeat an enemy. So, yes it will. All right then, so if we could just do this over and over, like that's three of them right here once we get you, right? Boom. That's not so bad. So obviously I don't think there's too much more they yeah, can defeat here. So getting... if we pause and then just go Think right that, back to this open. area, I've never seen a, fish like this. This a lot of them will talk over each other, but the burrower and all the enemies will respawn. So we can just sort of get that to happen over and over again until this challenge is completed. Oh, there's a two for one, awesome. And there we go, Jaws with Flaws award unlocked. So there we go, yeah, there is that one done, which makes sense bit. that you know we can do that. And honestly, makes me think about some of the other challenges we can get done around here. Like, uh, it's sort of broken at the moment because SpongeBob is saying yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so if we go to awards again, right over here we have Wrath Tub, defeat 25 enemies with the big jellies attack. So I think there's a big jelly somewhere around here. Um, I think it's sort of the same deal where we I'm need to run around until the big jelly slams the enemies. So over by uh, Sandy's tree dome right here, I think we're just gonna we just gonna wait and see if we can't get him to defeat some of the other enemies. It's not easy to do for sure. It's sort of a bit of a pain, especially with only one enemy around here. So we might have to find a different spot eventually. Oh my goodness, come on. Just slam this guy, please, please, please. Oh, and he's gone. But you get the idea of what we're supposed to be doing here. I just don't know how easy it is going to be to do. Okay, maybe when you're knocked out like this. Oh, that could be a thing. If we just knock you out, then you can come over here and slam it, right? Just like that, just like that, come on, slam me. Boom, that worked. Okay, so that might be slow going, but I only need to do it like 10 times, right, for the award? Uh, 25 times, oh man, that might be a bit of a grind. But I mean, if it works, it works. Okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's more guys up here. I sort of forgot about this, but at least this will be two instead of one, right? If we can get the slam to work, there we go. So you know what, yeah, going up here seems to be way more helpful. Then we just do the tree, do tree dome again, and we just sort of do that over and over. It's not the fastest thing, but it's a little bit faster than what I was doing before. But I definitely think 25 is way too high of a number for this challenge. It just, it would never happen organically in the game. <laughs> So like you sort of have to do this kind of thing we're, we're doing here where we sort of force it to happen. All right, there we go, Wrath Tub finally done. That one took a good while. So let's go back to the Tree Dome and we'll take a look at what our next award is going to be. Down here, the good, the bad, and the crabby. Catch Mr. Krabs in under three minutes. So for that one, we need to go to the big chase back in uh, Wild West Jellyfish Fields. Okay, so we're back at the big race the between us. Cosmic silliness, a little dabble, our horseback ya? heroes once again find themselves pursuing a penny-pinching bandit. It's cool that the narrator even tells us, you know, that we're back here. I don't know when the race starts, so I'm really just trying to move as fast as I can. Probably just starts when we hop on top of here. We'll skip the cutscene. I don't think that would, you know, contribute to the time, but I'm really focused on just no dilly dallying. Get out there as soon as we possibly can. I think, yeah, we need to go over here to the left. Whoa, ready? Charge right through. There's a little Krabby Patty for our seahorse. Gotta go down here this time. There you go, not too bad, not too bad. Gotta charge through this one right now. Got it. We can get some extra jelly here, I suppose. Oh man, ooh. We're moving pretty quick so far, but is it under three minutes? We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, come on, just a bit more. You can do it, SpongeBob. I think we gotta go this way. Charging every moment that I can, though, seems to help. Got it. Sticky sweet. And, oh, we're almost on the train. Here it is. Once again, just gonna skip the cutscene. We've seen all this before, of course. So if there's any enemies that I don't have to fight, that'd be perfect. I mean, I think we have better abilities now, like the, the kick and everything. But we do have to fight them, which I really don't know. I guess we do. 
All right. There we go, yeah. We only, once we defeat all the enemies, does it uh, open the door, it seems, for some of them. But I can just kick over super quick now. We wouldn't have been able to do that before. So it definitely shows that we have a leg up on what, what our previous time must have been. There's no timer or anything, so we just sort of have to guess and hope that we're under three minutes. But I can do that. I think for this one, we don't even need to fight them. We just need to climb up here, get down like that, karate kick you, and maybe this is where we actually need to fight everybody? Let's find out. Yep, 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 that opened the door over here. So going across this thing is a little slow, so jumping and gliding is definitely preferred. But with this one, I can just hit the door. Perfect. Uh, gotcha. And then over here, just gonna bubble that thing. One more to bubble. We're almost there, I can feel it, I can feel it. Obviously, I, I don't exactly remember. Yeah, there, here it is. Just because it's been a little bit since we've last done this. But I guess I can yeah, bubble my way across like that. Same deal here. We are so super close. And I don't need to fight these guys. So if I could just use them as a speed boost, sure, but there we go, we did it, the good, the bad, and the crabby. Awesome, so we're not gonna watch a cutscene because we've already seen it, but that's a quick one done right away. Pretty cool. So our next award we're gonna focus on is the Karate King. Don't take damage during the Sandy boss fight. So, yep, we just have to move over to that fight, which of course will be in the Karate Downtown Bikini Bottom. Let's give it a shot. Ah, so SpongeBob and Patrick managed to rewind their climactic karate clash with the power of cosmic jelly. Okay, so this might be where things get challenging. We'll have to fight this entire thing without taking damage. We know how it works, right? We need to get Sandy to charge into those. And then I think we can just karate kick her. That'll be the first bit of damage. Ooh, and then she'll back out. Make way for that jelly. Oh, I will. Okay, so the enemies are a little bit more of a concern. But I think we can handle them if we kick you. That kick didn't work. Gotcha. Oh no, don't hit me. Ah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Haven't taken damage yet. Now Sandy's gonna switch over to her wheel, right? Or is there one more enemy somewhere that I missed? Of course there is. I mean, there's no time limit for this one. It wasn't like the Mr. Krabs one. All right, we know the deal. Whoa, oh no, I got hit. All right, I gotta go do it again. Okay, this part's definitely concerning and difficult, but as long as I can just roll out of the way like that, I just hope it doesn't bounce back into me from the other side. Okay, we're fine. Just roll over, got it. And I think it's about to stop in the center, perfect. We haven't taken any damage this fight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, we gotta get over there, gotta get over there quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready, and oh, did it work? It worked, it worked. Okay, so we gotta hit you real quick, like that, and then, okay, the second hit doesn't count. But this part is a little scary, right? Maybe not this part. Oh boy, there's so much, there's so much. Uh, well, we got rid of a lot of them though. And then there was one over here, another over there. How did that kick not go through? I don't know, but they hit the wall anyways. Gotcha, and then there's these guys. This is actually a little bit scary, but I should be able to just roll through them. Okay, here they come again, ready, and roll. I think if we roll, no, what? How did that, that's not fair? You're kidding me. Ah, oh, that really is gonna count as damage. I couldn't have, ah, oh, darn, that is so upsetting. Okay, so I got through without taking damage as far as I know. So if I do this, Ah, is that it? Come on, ready? Gotcha, there it is, Karate King. That one took me a lot of tries. The hardest part about those, right, is that once you're in the fight, you're locked in. Even if you die, you re respawn in the fight, but it still counts as the same fight. And you can't just like reload the the save. It says that you can't. So just it's a little frustrating because you have to replay through the entire fight if you do mess it up. So that part's not so fun. I wish they sort of thought about that. Either way, we have Deck Scrubber reclaim the Dutchman ship within five minutes during the boss fight. So for that one, we need, of course, to go to the next area, Pirate Goo Lagoon, and I think Admiral Prawn. So five minutes sounds like a lot of time, but I don't know entirely if it is. To do this, we're just gonna run through everything as fast as we can, skip all the cutscenes, and just 
really, really mean. So, right over here. So, our swashbuckling mateys take to the high seas one more time. Say where they must dodge the detonating desserts. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to go this way, right? I sure hope so, because it's the way I'm going. Looks like it, so we're just going to go on to here, and then you cannot run from forever, there. But I, will certainly make you try. I think so. Or no, that way. Oh, that way, that way, that way, okay. So that's where I, just, I don't really know. Uh, it's sort of foggy memory. But well, I guess there's more than one way I need to go, but for right now, I think I'm supposed to do that. So slam on that. And that's gonna move more ships over, right? I think so. If I were to do this, this would sort of reset me. I don't think that's what I want. Oh no, it is what I want. I wanna get back over there so I can, oh, I think I see. So I don't know if I'll get it on this first try, but we're just gonna try to get as fast as we can through this. I mean, obviously, if I'm not stopping to fight enemies, that's already gonna make it significantly faster. Okay, go across here. Got it, got it, and good. So if we just jump up to this stuff, go like that. Oh no, oh no, will I make it? Oh, where do I go from here? Wait, what? Was I, oh, I was supposed oh, to, okay, we might have to reset this one. <laughs> if it lets me, because usually what happens, right? Oh no, okay, it will let me for this one. Usually it doesn't, so I'll try it again. I don't know if the timer's still going. I sure hope not, so we'll just, let's give it another try. All right, so I think we're clearing out stuff a little bit faster than before. Uh, I don't remember exactly which ship we left off on, so we're just gonna keep going from here. Oh boy. <laughs> I am going to run you ragged. If you say so, Admiral Prawn. I don't believe you. So from here, I think we just need to jump across, ignore all these enemies. Oh, and we're already on the main ship, so yeah, we're really making good progress then. It's definitely not been five minutes, I don't think. So if we skip this cutscene, um, what are we supposed to do here? I don't know if this is a situation where we're actually supposed to defeat every enemy or not. So I'll try to. And then you over here, we gotta bubble that guy. Okay, it worked. So once they fall, I'd imagine that's everything, here we go. Okay, that was that was what we gotta do. Okay, so run over, Karate Kick you, get up here for this. Need to knock that back to the whole collection of things we gotta do here. And then, come on. Okay, I'm getting beat up from all, all different directions. What do I need to do next? So now that I've gotten that, more enemies over here. I can beat up these two, gotcha. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Dodge it. Oh, they're spawning in more, which is not so fun. But I think that's everything. Ah, uh, no, you. Now that's everything. Skip this cutscene. Keep it moving. Where do we go now? Uh, oh yeah, I think that raised all of this. All right, Prawn, where are you at? I gotta defeat these guys now. I think we want to get rid of you as soon as possible. So if I could just do that bubble you so I can knock you out, and then let's get the uh, the big one now. Okay. There we go, there we go. Gotcha there. So just two more hits on you and I think we're done. Oh, we're gonna do the slower one. There's no way it's been five minutes though. So. so I think we're, we're gonna be good once we hit you. So you don't really directly fight Prawn. There you go. And there we go, Dexcrover trophy earned. That's all we needed, that's all we wanted. Already. I don't know if it's gonna play the cutscene or not. <laughs> Maybe there was something more I'm supposed to do, but I don't really mind too much. So there is that one done. If we take a look at our awards, what do we have next? Right over this way, pet you didn't see that coming. Don't get seen by King Gary during the boss fight. So yeah, let's get that one done. These are all just sort of boss fight, either you have to run through it perfect or you have to do it super quick. So let's try King Gary. What is Halloween without one boss good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. All right, so yeah, we have to beat this boss without being caught. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So what we're supposed to do, wait for that light to go, go over here, break this vending machine, skip this cutscene. Now, I don't think we can get caught at this moment, so we'll be waiting for all this goop and gunk to fall over. And then we just gotta wait here, I think, until it, yeah, lets the way open. Very cool. This is where we gotta continue to be careful. I don't know when he's gonna start looking, it looks like right now. Will he look back over here? I guess, ooh, not, I don't know. 
Okay, it looks like right now the path is actually over here. Hmm. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good enough, I think, oh wait, Ooh, close, close. There we go, there we go. All right, let's karate kick over to this side as soon as I can, because he's about to roar, and I'm sure he has to start pointing his light over this side. Come on, come on. Gotta hide behind this, not much space there, but we made it work. And then I think, as long as I could just kick over here, ooh, we made some good timing, for sure. He's already looking on this side, but this might be the last one. So, ah, oh, he got me right at the end, so you're kidding me. Ah, oh, that's baloney. I think yeah, that really was the last one. Oh, come on. Oh, no, it was one. Oh, no, okay, there was this one more. Uh, yikes, but still, I can't reset it. I can't go back, it's just such a pain. I gotta just like redo the whole, like I gotta finish it and then start over. And then you have to go all the way back to Bikini Bottom and everything, so I'm just not a big fan of how that works. Okay, this time I was able to do it. That's good, Petchy didn't see that coming. All right, let, let's get out of here. Glad we could get that though. That was the most challenging one yet. Took me a good couple of tries for sure, but glad we could get through it. It's not that you can't, like it's sometimes it'll blink red a little bit, but as long as you don't get frozen by him, that seems to be the ticket. So another award completed. And next up is Waiting Force way over here, Dehydrated, evade all of Pop Hum's shockwaves during the boss fight. So that one's of course going to be in a prehistoric kelp forest. Let's go for it. All right, so these shockwaves that we're going against here, these are the things we need to avoid getting hit by. Which, you know, seems like not too bad. We're gonna skip all these cutscenes just to save some time. Um, but when en other enemies start attacking and stuff, that's when it can get a bit more complicated. Uh, but we need to get up to these. And there we go. Ba-boom! Trying to pay attention to when she's going to start slamming around again. Oh no, ooh, okay, he's able to dodge that one. And this one, is there any other enemies to defeat or are we just waiting this out? I think we're just waiting it out. It was just three more shockwaves. And here they come, here they come. Gotta jump up here and break that one. Very cool, very cool. These other enemies might start attacking us, but that's okay. Okay, whoa, whoa, got it, gotcha. So far they're pretty predictable. I'm actually pretty surprised I've got hit by these. But who knows? Maybe it'll get a lot worse here in a moment. But if as long as these platforms can raise up yep, over here. There we go, that's gonna land on top of you. We're just gonna skip that. Uh, let's see what happens now. More shockwaves. Oh, those are huge. Okay, these, I'm, I'm a little less surprised if I got hit by those. Which is probably the case, but I think if we just dodge through them, probably a more effective way to deal with it anyway. So in the meantime, now we're just gonna deal with these enemies. Oh, okay, whoa, I didn't see this. Do those, do those count? I sure hope they don't, but they might. Because if so, I just took damage from that, I think. Oh, poor bomb bomb. Okay, there we go. We need to break these open. I guess I'll start with that one. Now the lava's gonna flow back over from it. Really wish you wouldn't say the same things over and over again. It gets a little tiresome, but it's okay. I definitely haven't been touched by these shockwaves, so as long as the tears don't count, we'll be in a pretty good position, I think. All right. One more, maybe? He's going for a while. There we go. Okay, so definitely wanna get rid of these guys as soon as we can, but also dodge the tears. Got it. I think the lava's gonna lower in just a moment. Here it is, here it is, here it is. So this could be our second one. I think we need one more after this. It does take a lot to survive all this. All right, here we go again. Ooh. This isn't too bad to dodge now that I'm getting into more of a rhythm of it. Uh, all right. Just a little bit more, right? Come on. Don't have to move too much for this part. Whoa, the big burrower's coming in now. Ah, uh, see that hit me again, but there's not really too much you can do about that while fighting the enemies. So I just, I don't think the tears count for the shockwave because those are clearly different things, but we'll see, we'll see. 
All right, over here, over here. Come on, almost there, almost there. Boom, and that counted, dehydrated trophy earned. We did it, excellent. All right, so with the award unlocked there, Patrick is really excited about it. We have our next one. Deliver all cakes without getting hit once. This is Knight in Shining PJs. And honestly, this might be one of the ones I'm dreading the most. It's for the cake ballroom. We gotta go here and fight, but doing this one, it's just I feel like it's gonna be really challenging. Cause there's so much stuff that starts flying at us here when we go into this fight. We'll skip that though. And I guess this gets started with this as soon as possible. Fragile. We have to be careful. Uh. How do I throw it? Just with that scene button. So of course it's gonna make Twitchy show up. Enjoy. But dodging these green fireballs is pretty difficult because they go straight back for us once they pass us and then all the enemies show up. I don't know if that count as, I don't think that hit me. That's where it's just like, we have to finish the fight anyways. Oh no, oh no. Dodge through them. This cake is fragile. We have to be careful. There we go. Uh, we have to finish this fight anyways whether or not we get hit because it sort of locks you into it. So we might as well, oh, and they got me there. Oh my goodness, so that counts. Like that counts as taking a hit. So that already means this one is not gonna work, but I can't reload a save, I can't reload a checkpoint. It doesn't count that way, which is such a shame. Just gotta do this whole thing after when we, we're done with this one. But you get the idea. Uh, so I'll just, I'll keep trying it and hopefully we'll get there eventually. Okay, so I've been hit by these green balls a couple of times, but they don't do any damage. And because of that, it actually doesn't count as getting hit. So hitting, getting hit by the green balls is fine. That doesn't actually hurt you. It's the enemy. So if you can avoid all the enemy hits, and the first thing I would suggest is the very first cake should be the far off table. And then the second cake should be the other far off table. Do all the difficult ones first before all the enemies are super difficult and always just defeat the enemies first without taking damage and then just deliver the cakes. That was by far the most difficult one yet. Oh my goodness. So let's see what our next award is. Um, down this way, have Glovey defeat 20 enemies during the boss fight. Uh, I don't quite know how he's gonna do that, but we'll give it a try. Sacre bleu. SpongeBob must once again rescue his best friend from the clutches of a maniacal mascot. I oh, no. took down Gluffy once, and I can do it again. Oh, even SpongeBob recognizes it. But there we go. We got three enemies taken down there, I think. So just them walking over this gunk Sorry, is gonna count. So that was at least like four or five. We just gotta keep cycling it. I don't think that one counted, but uh, maybe six, seven. The Let's see, I might just do this for a good few minutes and see what ends up happening because I don't really have a way to gauge. And I don't know if it'll just give it to me once 20 enemies have been defeated or if it's one of those things where it'll only give it to me after the boss fight is over. So I'll definitely try this for a good while and just sort of see, just keep running around in circles. All right, well actually, no, that counts right there. Award splash zone. Very cool. So with that done, over here, return to center, defeat five jelly makers by knocking other enemies into them. I don't really know how to do this one, so I'll have to try to figure it out. Monster birth. Okay, so I think how this one works, right? Bikini bottom. Oh no, lots of stuff going on here. Maybe I'll get rid of you first, because you're a little too much, but I need to hit this enemy, and then now they're down to one health. Yeah. It's so oh, difficult to do with, with the amount of health we're given, but let's see, do I? have to do all that again. This one might be one of the more tedious, to say the least, challenges yet. Because it's just, I don't know, where would be a situation where this would happen within gameplay normally? You know what I mean? Uh, either way, we're gonna hit you like this, like that, yeah, just get rid of all those enemies. But then it's gonna create some new ones, and this is where I just need to knock them into you and finish you like that. So that should be, I think, the first of five. We go down here. That didn't even count. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe because he didn't explode. So let me check now. Did that count? Yes, it did. So we need to do that four more times. You get the idea? This takes a while. So this should be the last time if I can hit them into you. Is that enough? I like bikini There it is, return to sender, award unlocked. Thank goodness for that. So there we go, we got that one done. What is our next award that we need to do? Uh, right over here, defeat a big jelly with the baby boom projectile. I don't really entirely know what that means. Okay, so as you can see there, the jelly does hit this guy and hurt him. So maybe here, oh, very lucky, very, very lucky. We got friendly fire right there. That was great. I feel like this is the only spot in the game I can think of where there's two of these guys. 
you know, th this one and the other, other enemy, where it would just be feasible. That's just where it's just, some of these awards, I don't really like them too much because they wouldn't really happen during gameplay. Defeat 25 Ninjellies with environmental hazards is our next one. And we're pretty close to it already. I don't know what else could Sticky, do that though. Maybe, maybe the glove boss fight again? I'm trying to think, which one are the Ninjellies anyways? Okay, that did it, so I just had to go back here. So I guess the strategy has gotten us two challenges done. There's hazardous complete. I don't know if these um, Sorry, guys with the boxing gloves are ninjellies or the smaller ones that charge at us, these guys are ninjellies. But one of the two are. Um, if we switch over to the awards again, we're really getting close to all of them. What else is left? Um, bubble 100 enemies. All right, well that one, pretty simple, but might take a ton of time. I think for that one, what we'll do is we'll just go back to Bikini Bottom I might have to fight, finish this fight first, unfortunately. But um, go back to Bikini Bottom and just run around and just bubble everybody. Bubbles away. A little dab will do ya. Okay, there we go. That one took me a couple minutes I'm of grinding, but we get King of Bubbles trophy earned. Awesome. So, going back over, what other awards are waiting for us? I don't know if there's really all that much more. Um, it looks like we have our second to last row here. Jump 10 times in a row on one jump pad. That seems pretty simple. They mean these kind of jump pads over here, right? So if we just try it out, I mean, what's the harm in giving it a go? So we get over here. I go one, two, three. Uh, this, is this really gonna be it? Never really thought about it. The six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it. Bounce Bob completed. That was probably the easiest challenge we get to complete in today's episode. Uh, down here we have SpongeBob Holmes Pants. Find the secret in every level. I think I know where this is. A lot of you told me about this one, so I think I'm going to go check that out right now to get to that one. If it, it's where, it's a place I checked before, but I don't think I thought to Finally, actually. Bikini Bottom is back to its old unpredictable self. I never broke this box where there is a secret. Sponge Lock Holmes Pants, that trophy is earned. Glad to have it. Now going down here, we're really getting through them fast now. Spin six beach umbrellas at once. Uh, I'm sure there's a specific spot to do that, so I might have to look around for a moment. So we're on the beach here. This is, I think, Bongo Beach as part of Pirate Guru Lagoon, and I can hit these. I don't know how long they spin for, so I'm just going to try to find as many as I can. That one's still spinning, so that's three of them. They move with Four. the grace of greasy angels. Gotcha, guys, five, and then there's one more right hilarious. here. Was that enough, or, okay, that one stopped spinning. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ouch. And then, oh no, gotta get over here. Ah, I don't think that's quite fast enough. But I got the right idea, I just need a better rhythm, right? So if I just try that again. Got it, get over here. Okay. Uh, This one, over here. No, come on, got it. I don't know if we can do it in time. Oh, there it goes, Beach Spinster Trophy earned. That one was more of a struggle of finding a good spot for it. But hey, we figured it out, and one sponge to roll the ball? I think that might be the trophy, the platinum trophy, we did it! We have every trophy in the game, we did it! Oh man, so if we take a look at the awards, every single thing is done now. I didn't even realize, collect all rewards. So we've done it. So we have completed the main game 100%, unlocking all the costumes, completing all of the awards, and even showcasing the special edition of the game. I truly think it's finally time to say that we have completed SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. This was such a great way to start this year, a really, really fun game, and it was just such a joy to play it through with all of you guys. If you haven't already seen, be sure to check out my SpongeBob Rehydrated, Battle for Bikini Bottom, whatever it was called, series on that game as well, because that was just another really fun SpongeBob adventure and if any new spongebob games do release i'll be sure to showcase them so with that being said that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of spongebob squarepants the cosmic shake thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye